and their reaction would be, I've got to be like her, so they'd start starving themselves. Hello, everyone. How is everybody doing? Because I'm doing great. I, uh, I got a haircut, so I'm looking clean, looking angled, looking, looking like a, a bird of prey, if you will. I had a workout, had a nice lunch, got some, uh, got some laundry going on in the background, so everything's a party. The, uh, the jerky blaster's here. <laughs> There's really nothing to, uh, nothing to ask for. Oh, and it's Final Fantasy XIV patch day, so I get to check in. I'm a little potato man. And uh, actually, I think I'm just going to watch the, the um, Shadowbringers intro again. I think we're just going to do that. Changed. I'm not a tool for the person. 
Even the seventh umbral calamity must be undone. Ah, damn. Damn, that shit's good. <sighs> All right. Well, and actually that was more topical than than not because uh, uh, this patch is actually supposed to be the conclusion of this expansion slash storyline. Neon Phil, thank you for gifting five subs. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that, uh, man. That intro is bananas, which makes me really excited for the next one. Uh, so yeah, uh, Uno, sorry. I did see your question. Am I doing main story quests or new, other new stuff? Um... I kind of haven't decided. I thought I was just going to poke away at the main story quest, but I can understand why that might be spoiler territory if you're in a place where you can't play right now. Um, because, yeah, there are new... the near raids. Maybe I'll just do those. Maybe I'll do the new, uh... The new near stuff. Oh! Lemillions! Redeemed a trading card. Uh, just got the trading card. Oh, it just arrived? That's awesome. Great. Yeah, I did mail out a, a whole chunk of them. Um... Been in the raid all day, so I haven't done MSQ yet. Hmm. Would you prefer if I didn't? Uh, PKO Net, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Damn, look at my stupid pants. Look at my dumbass pants. Do you see these? Why do I have knitted knitted pants like this? With my little like shoes with the keyholes on the side. I'm I am a fashion abomination. MSQ is shorter due to the patch being split in two. Yeah, I figured it was pretty short. I at this point, they're mostly just setting up the next storyline, so I thought it would just be some, like, uh... I thought it would just be some some beeps and boops. I didn't expect a whole lot of bombs to be dropped, I guess. Uh, car. Alright. I, uh, I didn't... I got caught, like, in the in a mid-cycle for gear, you know? Uh, so it's just like a mis... It's a mishmash of a ton of different sets. Um, these stupid pants, man. <laughs> My stupid ankles just hanging out. I look fierce, thank you. Thank you very much. This is the last post-patch update. Yeah. Yes, I mean, there might be more um, patches, but I think this is supposed to be the last big content drop before uh, <sighs> Endwalkers. Oh boy, I hope I got that right. Man, you guys already put this here at a... Already got a, already, already got a hype train going. This is impressive. Thank you guys. All right, all right. I got a card here. It, it was like kind of hooked. It was hooked around the, the stacks. I don't know what's up with that. You've got a... I just realized this camera makes it even harder to do this. I need to figure out a nice... Uh, I need a different mask for another scene. Anyway, you've got... Bonk's Adventure 2? I Yeah, Boomer's Adventure in Asmic World. Congratulations. That's a, that's probably rare. Um, apparently I did a piss poor job tearing it out of the magazine a million years ago. But here is your gamer challenge. Join Boomer, the cutest dinosaur this side of Yoshi, on his quest through the Dark Tower. Along the way, he can dig up all kinds of goodies like boomerangs, compasses, time bombs, and even chili pies. But can he defeat the Dark Lord Zuzun? Challenge. Uh, try to beat the following bosses without using a shovel. A novice can beat Beetle, an intermediate can beat Moth, and a pro can beat Spike without the shovel. It's for Game Boy. So congratulations. Uh, let me take your username down. I will, I will either whisper you later, 
on Twitch for a mailing address to send this card to, or you can whisper it right to me if you want. Okay. Uh, Cabs on Twitch, thank you very much for the sub. Let me click back on this. Norm's Brew, thank you for the sub. Commander Moose, thanks for the prime. Dirty Man 15, thanks for the sub. Thank you guys. All right. Can't figure out how to whisper, so I'll wait. Okay, you should have a little notification pop up. Uh, what's up, Captain Rumpus? Okay, I guess in that case, then I won't. I won't do the story, but I will look up. Uh, I'll look up where the next, where the raid is. Let's see here. It's in Kalugia, the dig site chief. That's correct. All right. Let's go look at some hot robots, right? Ooh, Ace, thanks for the resub. Oh, and you guys were, you guys were talking about Final Fantasy movies. I gotta say their batting average is above, is above 50. Um, Spirits Within, we could consider rough, but Advent Children and Kingsglaive are... Fun movies, if not extremely dense. What the fuck? Much and much, much and more has happened in Eorzea while you were away. To help those such as yourself reacclimate to the ever-changing realm, the Twelve have prepared a most generous boon in the Returner's bounty. Sending so, some handy tools provided to make that quick return for him. Some experience bonuses for parties with mentors, as well as full access to the novice network. No thanks, man. I'm a max level. Oh yeah, and I was just getting used to my new uh, my new HUD layout. Holy crap, Mr. Chris. K Kringle and Requiem Bell. Thank you both very much for gifting five subs each. Damn. Damn, you guys. Switching that sound effect was really paying off. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to remember all my buttons. And yeah, my butt face just went away. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys very much for your generosity. Uh, that's right. Game don't know who it's talking to. Uh, Kalugia. I have to go to Kalugia. Yeah, look, people are talking in the, cr in the link shell. Oh shoot, I'm probably too, I'm probably item level short. Oh no, that's probably me too. <laughs> oh, Una, is that you in game? Ah, crap, what is the item level for the raid? I'm probably nowhere near it. Johnny Dots, thanks for the prime. 496? It's like 610 or something like that, isn't it? 495? <gasps> it gads, I'm one over. I think, I think somebody crafted me, like, way high level gear last time I was playing. So, okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I gotta remember where to teleport to. That's not right. Oh, Yulmore is probably closer. Yes, Kalugia is in the first. This is gonna be me. A lot of me not remembering things. Jay Borden, thank you very much for the cheer. The nice cheer. Am I using my gamer claw? Excellent question. The answer is no. I would be... Um, and I will be next time I play this game, but I actually have been talking with the company and they're going to exchange it for a larger size. So I'm going to wait until I get, I'm going to wait until I get my full official model. Customized to the curves of my hand. Yeah, it's, it's actually super chill of them. Didn't you already really ask excited. me that? I thought I had, there it is. But uh, I've been thinking a lot about it. I've been doing some uh, some labbing up in the brain about how I'm gonna do that, because it's gonna it's still gonna involve like shifts and controls and stuff, and I gotta I gotta wrap my noodle around it. Cause this this is basically the sum total of I use all of these abilities. I don't really use I don't really use repose or Asuna much. Um, but yeah, all the other ones are, I do have to hit with varying uh, frequency. That's kind of where I'm, what I'm trying to wrap my head around is making like a heat map of all the skills I use uh, and trying to associate that with the buttons I hit the most often, you know? Uh, Grim the Reaper, thank you for the sub. Grave Unknown, thank you for the prime. What's that little chibi thing? That's a little That's a little toy version of a, <laughs> of a plot character. Um, but you know what, we can do better than that. Yeah, oh. It's a, it's a chocobo with a pope hat. There you go. <laughs> Hold on, there's a lot of minions in this game. But I want my shark. I want my major general. I just have to remember where it is. 
There you are. Where's my stupid little boy? My little, my little dry shark boy. There you are. There's my guy. There we go. There he is. We're best friends. Neon Phil, thank you for gifting a sub. Hey, Morgie. Uh, you think it's going to be a change in your streaming schedule because of your extra workload and writing, producing, inside gaming rings? There already has been. Um, there's been a few. There's been a few streams that I haven't been able to do because I was writing or trying to free up the time to write and research and stuff like that. So, the answer is yes. It's already. It's already a thing. I mean, actually, specifically this Thursday, I'm. I'm not. I should take that off my schedule. I'm going to try to like have a, a second day of the week that I don't have a scheduled stream. Uh, just to, like, explicitly open up time for that... that exactly. Although, it's like, I whiff streams all the time anyway, so it's not like I stream that much. <laughs> but thank you guys, yeah. Actually, you guys have destroyed the hype train. And I know that Final Fantasy games have a long history of destroying trains. So thank you. What time will Hugo Martin be on for your 24-hour stream? Alright. Um, right now, uh, as far as I know, it's going to be 10 a.m. Pacific on Saturday... Hold on a second. Um... Saturday, Saturday, April 17th, 10 a.m. Pacific. I'll chat with Hugo for maybe an hour or two, um, depending on his, his time and availability. And then I'll get started on Doom 2016, and we'll be off to the races. So, that'll just be a little interview, just a little chit-chat. I, I haven't... I've tr been trying to think about something that might be a little more um, punched up and produced to make, to make more specific use of his time, but... I'm also thinking, like, maybe I don't need to try that hard. Maybe, maybe, I have plenty I want to ask him. And maybe I can just have faith in that. You're going to wear the cum shirt again. Ooh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. I'm going to have to think a lot about that. Pump for the Doom stream happens to line up with my cheat day, so I'll also be a pizza party. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I think it's just going to be, like... Subathon style, all lore, 100% runs. Like, kind of, I guess in that regard, yeah, it'd be more like using every mod, using every gun. Um, instead of just using my usual play style. That's more for 2016. Just, there's a roast turkey on that person's head. There's a, that's a hat. <laughs> that is a hat. That's a hat that... Thaddeus Reyes is wearing right now. Will you upload it to YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's probably going to go on the Inside Games channel, because that's kind of more what it is. Um, any plans for some more Ghost Runner? Yes. Yes. I just need... If I just streamed, like, 20 hours a day. It's weird. Even though streaming is kind of the main thing I do now, um, I still want days to be about 10 hours longer so I can stream more. Even now. Since you're playing a weeb gay today, <laughs> a game today, when do you think you'll be playing Beat Mania again? That's a good question. I, I wish I knew. Uh, but not this Saturday, because I'm doing the, um, Doom thing. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't keep playing my tune on Leviathan, so I can't join you in the raid. Ah. I'm sorry. Uh, if anyone else is in the, uh, in the link shell and... And as of available item level, we can we can try and bash the raid together. There's no li there's no more limited drops, right? Or was that for something else? Just make the days longer. No, meth. Oh, limited drops apply to the new raid? Okay. That makes sense. Oh, dang it. Dang it? Right when the anime's kicked up. We've been enjoying Outriders. I've been on the fence about picking it up. Um, I have. Yeah. I mean, so, disclosure, they have sponsored me. So I've accepted money on behalf of Outriders. Uh, but, that said... I do appreciate that it does, it does make an attempt to be much more like, te it's more game mechanic forward, if that makes any sense. 
Um, it's It actually pushes you. You have to kind of think about what you do and when. You have to be mindful of how effective your cooldowns are. Like, it it really does have a lot of Diablo 2 energy about it. Um, and that it it will throw stuff at you that you have to kind of think about and be good at to, to deal with. Use, using a mixture of, like, buffs and debuffs and stuff. So, uh... There's more texture to it than most, I would say, action RPGs, which I appreciate. Um, like, Destiny gets there, but it's only really in the raids that things like that matter. Um, or it's like Nightfalls. Like, they, they seem to have been adding more high-level high, high level stuff that is more mechanic-intense, but... Like, for what I... Like, Diablo 3 never really got there for me. So... It depends what you're in the market for, you know? And that might be, uh, might be a verbose explanation, but I excel at those. Konog is sad. That boy's in need of an emote. Come fort. Pat. There, 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 there. Now give me that... <laughs> give me that, uh, 2B hair. Give it. I genuinely don't remember the storyline. I remember the dwarves were digging and then they found the robots and that basically just opened up a you know, portal to near near dimension. I don't remember why everybody's pissed off at this dwarf. I'm playing it on Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, if you have an Xbox, it's like what, ten dollars and you can check it out? The whole thing? There's a demo, too? Just download the demo. Progress carries over from the demo. Again, hashtag sponsored and all that, but... Out of, out of all games, Outriders probably gives you the most possible tools to figure out if it's a game you like. Squeagal, thank you for the Prime. Thank you guys for the, the generous welcome. Jeez, thanks again. What a day. What a day. It was... It was push day, so I got to do, like, big lifts that were easy. Uh, took a nice shower. Subs all over the place. Loving it. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Alright. Speak with villagers that are a likely source of gossip. <laughs> but, by God, be discreet. Oh my gosh. It's a bunch of golden mudkips carrying a golden... <laughs> Ah, oh. it's spraying money. The white robots airstrike to their whole village. Remember? Ooh, that's ringing a bell. That's ringing a bell. Gosh, that was so long ago. Yes, I do remember now. Right, there were evil versions. You gonna play any more Pac-Man 99? I want to. Yeah. I would very much like to. There's just so many games. There's so many games. It's not hard to play any one, but to play any one means that there's like 50 other ones that you're not playing. So today, I mean, today I I already kind of had plans to play other things, and then I was like, oh shit, patches out. Well, that that's that then. Maybe everything's gonna be okay. Aaron P, thanks for the reset. Oh yeah, I haven't. I just logged in, Dreyfus. Yeah. What a time to be alive. It's just so calm. So melancholy, if you will.
This feels like weird music for a dwarf village that was just firebombed. Uh, did I play OG Nier? I did, but I didn't finish it. So, oh, when the remake comes out, probably be worth swerving back to that game. I wonder how that game's gonna... I wonder how people are gonna like that game. Well, I guess, like, it's not like Nier Automata really broke out or anything like that. It just has a legion of people that try to get everyone they can find to play it. Cult hit, we'll say. So I, it's, I guess it's a remake of a cult hit based on a cult hit? Maybe it'll work. I'm just excited for the people who have no idea what's going on. Just pick up that game. I guess that's technically everyone. The first time you play any Nier, you have no clue what the fuck. But I don't think, uh, like, Replicant didn't really, didn't really end as cleverly as, uh, Automata did, did it? Maybe it did. I didn't really get that far. I got to, like, the third major location. It was kind of, um, uh, it was kind of progressive for its time, trying to do the open world action RPG thing. Yeah, Yondo, I don't, I don't, is there, like, a way to play as either protagonist in the, in the remake? I'm genuinely bothered they went to regular anime protag near instead of going with Papa near near uh, near Gestalt. I st well, I still have the uh, the authentic version of the game. Then is that considered the like the canon version? Creepy old anime guy. I guess he's not that creepy. It didn't end as cleverly, but the characters are and story throughout are much better. They said if it's popular, they'll add Gestalt as an option. Oh, huh. Okay. That's my greatest worry. Uh, Automata spoils a ton of Replicant slash Gestalt. That makes sense. Ah, uh, I think I, I think having played some of some of Near One, I think I know what you mean. Thinking about like the the split in in information and what surprises might be at the end of Gestalt. Papa Near isn't the canon version. Tween Anime Near is the original. I would think so. That was the PlayStation version, so that that was and still is default to some degree. Hello, Pop-Tart. How are you? Look at that. Music changed. That was weird. A whole, uh, whole orchestra of harps ushered you into this chat. In Japan, they don't really do a lot of gruff older men as protags. Gotta be handsome dudes. Yeah, it's more marketable that way. Which kind of makes, which makes some um, like a dragon pretty exceptional in a lot of ways. <laughs> Not only did it completely change the mechanics of the series, but it absolutely swiped away. Like, I mean, Casca's mm, Casca's handsome, but uh, he's he's not an ant. He's not a game protagonist. A typical protagonist. I don't even remember what the question was. Whatever. I don't know if there's anything less meaningful than a dialogue option in a Final Fantasy game. The only experience of an online Final Fantasy game was 11 on Xbox 360. Man. That game was brutal. I played the 360 version a bit too. I, I, in my stupid mind, thought, maybe I'll get some achievements this way. I think, uh, 11 m might be the hardest pot, like, longest, most difficult game to get every achievement point in. Maybe. I can't remember. There's some other ones that are, that are pretty legendary. Like, apparently Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. One of those was ab absurd, but... Uh, not sure if you're aware, but they added a 4K HUD and button options in the graphics menu. You've got to restart in the menu fidelity of Chef's Kiss. Damn, I wasn't aware. I'll check that out in a second. Because, yeah, some of them are looking a little fuzzy these days. Honestly, I don't think you could complain about Automata spoiling anything for Replicant and Gestalt since those games are 11 years old. I think it's more, uh trying to imagine the reception of somebody who played Automata and then goes and plays Gestalt. And I don't know that it's necessarily complaining about spoiling anything. Just like mentally projecting about what that experience might be like. I don't know. 
It's a waste of time, but that's what we're doing here, right? Uh, oh, you bought a hummingbird feeder. Nice. And two interviews. Ooh. Just imagine hummingbirds. Graphic screen icon. Uh. Aha. Blam. That's okay. 20 seconds to top. Is that a little shark following you? Yes. Yes, it is. Sometimes he slides around on his belly. We're best friends and I love him. I like his overbite. <laughs> if we could all... Every day we fall short of the glory of a man and a t holding a turkey or a, a jerky blaster. No one has lived as much as 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 that as that fellow. Uh RE6 tonight? Yeah, that's the plan. Gonna fire up some RE6 with Big Boy Bruce. Ooh, that is crisp. Oh. It's gonna look exactly the same to you guys, but it looks better for me. That's only gonna help me game better. More pixels, more game. That's how it's always been. Well, thank you for letting me know. R6 is on sale on stream. Can you put a price on friendship, though? I don't think you can. It has the uh, impossible to quantify quality known as cool. 75% <laughs> off. Yes, you can. <laughs> Wait, it's $20? Are you serious? Usually by now, Capcom games are like 50 cents. No matter how much they ever were. All right. Ooh. Oh. Oh dear. Yes. Yes. This looks. This looks good. Throwing all the Ari sick shit on YouTube. Yes. Yes. And actually, along along with that, I basically made up my mind. I'm gonna finally make a highlights channel. Uh, I didn't want to, but like highlight videos get even less views than normal vods. So it's it's not a. I mean, you could interpret that as a quality problem, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, I just think they get buried. So, and I just upload them at such a regular times. So, ah, I do it all wrong. It's all me. But I think having a separate channel would uh would help. That just means more clicking. Bah. But hopefully that'll make that stuff easier to find. This is pleasant music. God. There's so many old, old, uh, like, extremes in my quest log. He would die for that shark? Good. It makes me feel good to hear that. I know I'm not alone in, in my, uh, ironclad dedication to protecting that shark. Husband and I watch your highlights. Thank you for those. It allows him to catch him on the content he misses while he's at work. Well, thank you. Well, it's, uh, I appreciate that. I, um, I don't know, I just think, uh, there's a lot of things I could do to, to, to make that work better, but I think that's, that's a new, that's another small responsibility I'm willing to bite off at this point. Recent one, let's usually stick about 20. Nowadays Resident Evil 2 Remake has been at $20 for the last three years. Okay. So is... is I guess I'm just remembering like Steam sales where I bought the entire series for like a dollar. Oh. You wanna toast at me? Straight up having that little shark as a real life friend would following you around would make life a thousand percent better. It does. It does, I, I can attest. I learned how to fish to get this shark. In this game, anyway. Uh, what server am I on? I am on Leviathan, or the uh, Primal Data Center. Uh, did you expect a massive explosion of VTubers back when you covered Kizuna AI and hard netting? Um, 
Yeah, I think so. There was just no way it wasn't going to go there in some form. Um, I What remains to be seen is if VTubers and like AI characters get more popular than humans. Um, we'll see. That's, that's the thing I'm not convinced about. I knew it was going to be a whole thing, though. I guess what's going to be real... What's going to be real interesting is, like, when there's... Either, either a VTuber performed by a character, or a VTuber that is entirely governed by AI. Which I can also see, like, happening and getting popular, at least within my lifetime. I would say in the next, like... Within, maybe in ten years is when that might happen. An entirely artificially... An entire AI-generated character that is itself very popular. Some are more popular than real people. Well, sure. That's yeah, that's true. And there's there's a cro there's certainly a crossover in the gradient. I just meant as a whole, like the second that 51% of Twitch's viewership is for a for a VTuber or VTuber groups. Uh, not be at. Thank you for the prime. About 20 hours into Cyberpunk on PS5, this game is still busted after 1.2, so I think I'm just going to wait for the PS5 version. But this money is for Steph, because I give her all the credit for Cyberpunk, because I know nothing about game development. Ah, well, thank you for the Prime. I'll, uh, I'll set that aside for Steph. I need to get her something nice, so I will do that. But yeah, game dev is rough. I am, uh, I'm sorry you're still not having a good experience, though. Well, they're still patching it. And then, yeah, the uh, they did announce that the next-gen versions should be out this fall? Or this year? So, maybe with any luck, that'll be the, the real, actual version of the game for people. And you already bought it, so... Is it a pre-order for a delayed release? <laughs> Coming to the VTuber rabbit hole? I haven't really looked into it. Uh... Maybe I should just watch like a variety. I don't like with things like that. I don't even know how to get started. And honestly, I'm not even. Well, there's some streamers that I watch and stuff, but they're they're all thoroughly background content. Uh, the only VTuber I like is Fast Food Reviewer One, real cutie, and I love how her creators don't give a shit about how she sounds. Huh. Go to some highlight channels for a starting point. Hmm. <laughs> Big four, a decent start. Gura, Watson, Mori, and the bird one. <laughs> the Catholic VTuber? All right. Uh, Go Comics, thank you very much for the resub. And, uh, and sleep well. I'm going to be ushered to anime land by a lot of drawn out dialogue scenes. Aren't they going to give a free next-gen upgrade for Cyberpunk on Xbox? Um, it's on both platforms. The next-gen update is, is free. That is my understanding. Don't get hurt, little guy. So, was he was he in charge of the dig that brought all the robots out that blew up the village? Is that what's going on? And everybody's being real mean to him now? Because no one wanted him to do it? There's so many, like... Individual but concurrent storylines in Final Fantasy XIV and they, like, they walk away from and return to them in, uh, in pretty interesting tempos sometimes. Him, the Dig Chief, and Anag kind of brought them robots on, yeah. Okay, alright.
There's something really creepy about the sound of, like, wind at night. I don't like it. Do the Jawa-like people have a name? Yes, they are dwarves! <laughs> I mean, I think this specific village might have a, a name. But if you don't remember, Anog was lost at the end of the last near raid, which is why Konog is sad. Ah, I did not remember that. I just remembered fighting a big angry robot, and then there being an incredible, an uh, incredible piece of music. End of the unknown, I think. You're in there somewhere, buddy. Oh dang it! <laughs> that wasn't what I was supposed to wait. Is he in here? Damn it, he is. Alright. Love it in MMOs where everyone just crowds into one spot. Yeah, this this one is is a little civilized because at least uh, targeting goes right through other players. So as long as you see the name card, you can usually click on something without a problem. The fun is MMOs where players like block targeting abilities, so then just somebody with a giant mouth sits on top of an NPC and entombs them in an unclickable space. Absolutely love it. So wait, what? It's Konog in the command room. Alright. Something about primals, if I had to guess. Because <laughs> I have no clue what the story is. Uh, played for 195 days, yeah. I slowly, like... Every process of returning to this game is slowly remembering all the plot beats that I, re I, you know, saw once two years ago. And then the exact time I stop playing is when it is all returned to me. I get it entirely locked down in my head and then I walk away for another six months. Digital Tears, thank you very much for the Prime. Yeah, Captain, I, th I think you might have the longest played in chat. Can't do the raid with you, but you should come do the Lala dance with me. I should! Are you outside? Wait, what? Oh, okay. What is the Lala dance? I may not have it. I haven't... I haven't gone out of my way to, uh... To acquire many, many important emotes. Uh, Spizo, thank you very much for the tip. He's a cool dude, thank you for the content. Keep it rolling, buddy. I will. Thank you very much. Oh, Una? <laughs> Una's the number one? tip noise. Uh, I don't know which one it was, but thank you. Oh, wait. That's the... Never mind. That's the, uh... That's the guitar whale from Doom. That's right. Now, the cheers are random Barney lines, which I gotta add a couple more. That's the Doom jingle? Yeah. I think I made that for the Doom Eternal stream. like shoes to smell or anything fine maybe this game doesn't understand what I want just barely reaches the seat of that chair yeah there's a what's what's amazing in this game is sometimes the mounts like the proportions are largely the same it's just that my character happens to be real tiny so in things like uh the regalia from final fantasy 15 the car my little potato man just stands on the driver driver's seat and then like 
Look at that. <laughs> it just drives that way. What do you want from me here? Alien ship. How did I miss that? Is this near automata room? It is, but I have to figure out how to get down there, I guess? Which I thought there was It's that little round platform, right? Didn't it? It went down. This guy. Oh, okay. How often do you play 14 these days? Not as often as I'd like, unfortunately. I would, uh... If... If I could dilate time, or if I could, like, have absolute control over how my time is spent, I don't know. If a lot of things that never end up happening. I would love to, like, just dedicate four hours a week to playing this game. It would be cool to do all the high-level stuff and be a be a totally rad 14 player. Get my max uh, Mahjong rank. There's another chest behind the elevator in the command room. No! I'm sure I'll be back. Yeah, I have to have Jacob teach me his tricks, basically. How he can beat every video game, and then he's just like, Oh, by the way, also, I've done all this stuff in Elite Dangerous. I want it. Yeah, 100% run over. Nah. I'm sorry to say we'll be starting the stream over. Please, everyone. Please, everyone, brace. Brace for restart. Look at him go. He can really move. He's got that broad stride. Except there, it didn't look like he was moving at all. <laughs> it would probably take a while for him to cover that bridge. Is this DLC going to have 18 endings? Sometimes 14 can be a little a little fourth wall breaking, can be a little trolly sometimes. It can happen. I could see something like false endings or something like that I could see happening. Also Yoko Taro can be a... He can just be a little stinker. <laughs> I think might be the best description for, for all Yoko Taro. Apparently this stuff is canon to Nier. <sighs> Interesting. That sounds like something Yokotaro would do. So it's a... There's been a stage play to... Three video games? This expansion and then like some audio drama stuff, I think. If you want the full uh, Nier narrative galaxy universe experience. Just finished streaming myself so I can finally catch up here. Nice, board. What were you streaming? If you want to do high-end content, I could fast track you, but even the fast track involves some learning and patience. Or in practice. There are some really great fights in this game, though, if you can reach them. That's the thing, yeah. I, I, I did some extremes in Realm Reborn, and I really, really enjoyed that process. Uh, but I have to admit, I just haven't done any of the, like, gardening, I guess, to, to, to do that in this game. I don't, like, I have access to a few communities, some of which I'm sure would be, like, delighted to, to try and schedule some, like, on Discord communication style attempts at things, but haven't really, like, investigated that. I'm sure if I stream the game enough, then those things will sort of fall into my lap. Yeah, there's there's plenty of people in chat and, and the, in the link shell and stuff that would be willing to help, so it is conceivable that could just reach enough people, kind of put out a time, and hopefully people can make it kind of deal. That'd be cool. Um, and that's honestly what I had hoped to do, is like set up a specific time of the week that I play and make it a stream thing so that um, it's more predictable time if people want to participate. But uh, that didn't end up really holding up. I 
I am in Leviathan, yeah. Yeah, Omega. Oh, Digital Tears. Thanks for the Prime. Jojo, thanks for the Prime. How final is your fantasy? Not very, I have to admit. Big, uh, big points on the fantasy, but lacking on the final. Which is fine. Moved to Hyperion a month or so ago. Oh, did you used to be on Leviathan? Oh, you can visit now. Great. Same uh, same data center. Oh, there's been three stage plays, five audio dramas, one book, and two games. Three if you want to count Drakengard 1, five if you want to count the Drakengard sequels, which were chronological prequels. Hey. Wait, how did his gloves pop off? Thank you, Spaghettis, for... Uh, for giving us the uh, required reading before tomorrow's stream. At some point, I feel like across all those mediums and across the uh, apparently the massive gaps in time between works in the universe, they may as well not be related, right? If the closest thing connecting them is just, like, one name or a reference to one event, that's the narrowest thread that doesn't really, like, add a lot to the collective whole. Um, I'm not saying that is the case, but a lot of the times, sometimes, that is the case. So, oh, there's also a mobile game. Yep, mobile game. Forgot about that one. It's 14 subscription-based. Yes, it is. But a significant portion of the game is free to play at this point. Like, easily the first 200 hours of admittedly slow-paced gameplay and narrative and stuff, but yeah, it's there. If you want to check it out, it is the longest JRPG ever. The biggest. And you can play it like that. It is essentially a turn-based RPG. Um, it's just the turns are set by cooldowns. I like narrative? Well, JoJo 14 has a lot of it. Boy, does it ever have a lot of it. So, uh, I mean, you can... The difference between the paid and the free experience at this point is... is There is none. There is none for the first, like, 200 hours of play. So, if you want to get started, the... You can just do it. <laughs> you can just download it and check it out. Um, it will be slow. They, they, they did kind of streamline the, the first part of the game, but it is... It's the director's cut of, like, content that is, at this point, almost 10 years old. So... MMOs have gotten better since then. But if you want if you want narrative, ooh baby, is there a lot of it? Mr. Mirati, thank you for the prime. Uh, are you still playing Yakuza and Devil May Cry tomorrow? Ooh, uh probably and probably. Uh there was another I think there was one game that I was concerned about. Oh yeah, it was this one. I was like, well I could I could do it tomorrow. Um or just do it today. So I think, yes, I'm loosely still planning to play Yakuza and Devil May Cry tomorrow. Yes. Is it a good narrative? It is. It's very good. Um, it's very good. It's consistent in quality. It It's a steady improvement in quality. And um, it's extraordinarily broad. So, so think about it like a manga, I would say, in terms of like the kind of stories it tells. Because it, it goes up to like attack and kill god because it's final fantasy of course it does that but it also does a lot of like he stole my potatoes uh kind of kind of like stories that still have uh you know an arc and a cycle and narrative closure but are smaller in scale and maybe a little more quaint in terms of their presentation and then there's just like there's tons tons of stories involved with tons of characters and tons of places so uh it's all it's all good uh but it does oscillate in terms of intensity uh and thus i think uh interest you know, you you wrap up a let's say you attack and kill God because it's Final Fantasy. Um, it's not going to throw you right back into attacking and killing God. And the, each expansion kind of has a rise and a fall. So I, I would say approach it like uh, a TV show that has demonstrated its pu its true quality later on. But you're starting at season one, you know, so that's kind of how to think about it.
Yeah, I guess Next Generation. Or JoJo, yeah. All, all really good comparisons. Um, the DNA is always there, though. Uh, every expansion has always had fantastic music, outstanding art direction. Um, it's just its story kind of, I think, intentionally bites off different DNA bits from what is considered Final Fantasy as a, as a genre. It is, it is the, uh, it is the charcuterie of Final Fantasy. Okay. Didn't Jessica request to play DMC5 on stream? Um, I mean, maybe. She loves Devil May Cry, so... I can assume. Oh, she absorbed my, my language. I'm a simple man. All I need is good narrative and really big anime hair. The hair is not absurd. Well, eh, there's some big anime hair. Yeah, I, I think you're set. I could go with bigger hair. I think I need to mix up my hairstyle. Maybe I'll pick... Oh, I'll pick new hair for a uh, Endwalker. The reason a Realm Reborn is so slow in comparison is that what it was made, or is that it was made in a year, written as the entire game was being remade alongside them putting out content for 1.x. There's a bit of filler because they were making two MMOs at the same time, and yeah, yeah, the uh, the narrative notwithstanding, I still thought it was is really enjoyable. But I was also looking for exactly what it was at the time, which is you know a, a really long, mellow paced, uh, you know, anime game. And I was, it was an MMO, you know? You're, I think the 14 expansions have, have really gotten better about the density of their, their story quests. Because, um, yeah, man. Shadowbringers was so good. And it still was sort of siloed as, like, episodes, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Ace Combat 7 stream. I was thinking about that the other day. Believe it or not, Malcolm. I was like, man, I should do Ace Combat. Again, I just need uh, all the time. I, I owe you guys Sonic Boom, too. My Wii U is still up, right, still over there. Except for near Replicon. I think it's coming out in 10 days. More or less. I've played it before, so. Oh. Uh, welcome, Gooses. Welcome, Gooses. Are you guys ready for some big anime? There's an orb here. What's that all about? What's going on there? <laughs> I'll have to click on this dialogue to see. But welcome, everyone. <laughs> Grizzly Dads, thank you for the sub. Is this a weeb game? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Big time. It's the last patch of the most recent <laughs> most recent expansion. Look at this. There's an anime robot right there. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that over there? Who is that? <laughs> 2B? Was it? Oh, Bruce made Diction cry? Well, that was mean. Why'd you do that, Bruce? Diction, what'd you do? What'd you do to get yelled at? I was a diehard Final Fantasy VI fan until Heaven's Word got me questioning and Shadowbringer shattered all doubts. VI has finally been surpassed. You just have to get past the old MMO part. You can play 90% of the game as if it's single player and queue up solo for the rest. You don't even need to start paying until you reach the second expansion. I agree, uh, Dreyfus Frost. That I'm 100% I'm in agreement with you, actually. Same with me. I was like, I was big... Big into six, and then this one was like, nah, this has got it now. I was already kind of leaning into it just for the music, the volume of the music and the quality of it. There really is no other game in the series that has matched it. But then again, it's kind of, kind of cheating. <laughs> this is a game of service. I want to punch that, I want to punch that robot. There's going to be an evil robot that comes out of that egg. What was his name? He had a weird name in Automata. Just called me a hooligan. Oh, well that's that's rude. I think you fully deserve to uh, to verbally abuse somebody if they call you a hooligan. That's just... Tesseract, thank you for the prime.
What about this Bruce guy? He sounds rowdy. A little bit, but... I mean, we got somebody slinging around names over here. Try not to die uh, to the last boss in the new raid. Not to the mechanics, but the feels from the last track. Tall's balls. If I was an outwardly emotional person, I would have been bawling. Uh-oh. Uh, Warlike Legion, thank you for the sub. I mean, if they're going to use that track from the uh, from the end of Automata, it's going to get bad. Way to the World, I think it was. <laughs> Grace, hey, welcome. Uh, Bodacious, hey, I have no money to sub. I give you my Steam games instead. You don't have to do that either. You can just hang out. You can just hang out and talk about video games. All you have to do, and, and I apologize because today is a special day, but all you have to do is endure a lot of anime video game talk. That is that is my call to you. I have to ask you to be strong. But it's it's 14 patch day, so. You're also playing 14, but you're not even in Heaven's Word yet? Yeah, there's There's some there's some early days to get through. Oh, thank you. Thank you, L. Yeah. I got a haircut yesterday. Yeah. I gotta admit, it looks pretty great. Turns out turns out professional barbers are really good at what they do. Is this Terra? No. No, it is not as it's not as horny as Terra, unfortunately. 14 is a is a pretty horny free zone. Oh, oh, there you are. The color of depression. That's a hell of a song. Kingdom Hearts 3 full playthrough stream. I think I streamed it a couple times. Eh. That game has already faded to memory, and I'm kind of okay with it staying there. If 14 is a horny free zone, why are you so addicted to it? Because I like the challenge. I like the challenge. I will find my horniness will endure, you know? It's like climbing a mountain. You're not supposed to be up there, but you choose to do it because it's difficult to do. So, it's di it may be difficult to radiate horniness into the Final Fantasy XIV universe, but I I guess I just push against wind. It's just something, it's just the way I'm made, it's just what I do. So I'm, I'm just that brave. Sorry to say it. People don't like to hear it, but... Oh, well, thank you for the sub. You, you're paying for my haircut, so this is a... Uh, we got a little some we got a little sympathetic game thing going on here. Oh yeah, Thancred, that's true. Thancred is there. Yeah. Hmm. Which do you prefer, chemistry or physics? I like physics. I like thinking about I like thinking about things happening in the real world and being able to understand, predict, and even control that. Um, chemistry is, you know, it's all molecular and it's essentially still physics, you know, but it's just like, it's just things fizzing in a beaker. Nah. I like explosions. I like flipping cars. Take your, take your stupid science shit out of here. You know what I mean? The cool, the cool scientists have to come blow, blow some stuff up. I guess that's also chemistry. <laughs> chemistry and physics is just math in disguise. You guys are trying to trick me. What is this shit? Oh, I have forgotten the names of everyone involved. Just let me see the robots, dang. Show me the robots. It's such a party over here. Everybody's hanging out. New content day. So much activity. Dang it. There we go. I love Kim. Took it as elective. Is in college. It is neat. It's probably the... Like, it's gotta be the closest to... Actual magic. Right? Maybe that's electromagnetism. 
Chemistry can be explosions. Have you not seen Breaking Bad? That's right, I forgot. I forgot what Brian Cranston taught me. Brian Cranston would be a really good Bill Nye the Science Guy. Weird thing to say, but like... If they were ever to do that show... Well, I guess they've done very uh, other versions of it. But... If they were to reboot the brand... Actually, Bill Nye had a pretty cool show that ran on PBS in like the mid-2000s that was basically that show but about adult topics called Eyes of Nye. It was pretty sick. It was just like a documentary show. I liked it. Man, firing bees. It's all hidden math, which is for nerds. That's why you gotta go to the social sciences with us cool kids. Yeah, video games are all numbers. It's all ones and zeros, man. <laughs> so is the robot battery going down or something? Does the orb create a robot? based on your memory. Is that what's happening now? He's depressed. Is this the sound of that depression? A replicant, you mean? Indeed. Oh yeah, that's right. I never got my uh, relic. Never got my glow. Because I didn't want to do Crystal Tower 30 billion times or whatever. Are those your abilities at the bottom of the screen? Yes. Yes, they are. But this is in exploration mode. This is in story mode. I got a little... I got another setup here. Bang. That's me in battle mode. That's, that's my little combat display. I just moved some bars closer to the center of the screen so I don't have to look away as far. I've been trying to keep a closer eye on, like, cast timers and stuff. Like, you're not the... You're tricking me. You're tricking me, Dave. Come on, bud. You're not a... Dig Captain? Wait a second. Oh, that's under, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. The relics are a huge waste of time for anything but the glamour. Yeah. It's only like 10 item level, right? Really like playing White Mage, but I have shit tier MP management, which I'm trying to get better about. Yeah, that that is not so much a factor later on. For me, it's just like using lucid dreaming in a size as whenever I can. If they're on cooldown, use them. Did you ever play League or Dota? Mm, I tried both, but did not super have a great time playing either so I just didn't bother I kind of prefer one-on-one -on -one competitive games or um, what I'm really enjoying these days are like the uh, the 99 series uh, competitive single-player games kind of deal cool down on lucid hurts you yeah it's it's long you're not meant to be able to chain it into itself so you got to stretch out the time in between Uh, it's supposed to be the the mechanic that keeps you from just chain healing somebody and turning every fight into just a matter of time. Oh, there's a robot. Oh. Oh, you like my plants? Thank you. They're very nice. I like big old I like big old floppity Jurassic Park plants. So Stephanie found that one. Oh yeah, Thin Air for revives. Yeah, that's true. Forgot about Thin Air. I actually forget about Thin Air quite often. Where are you, Thin Air? Where were- where would- where are you? If I were Thin Air, where would I be? I also don't know- don't remember what the icon looks like. There you are. Okay. 
Yeah, Thin Air, Swift Cast, Revive is the free get on your damn feet button. Maybe I should make a macro for that. Nah. Oh, there you are. All right, how do we, uh, wait. Wait, why don't you have a name? Hold on, that's why it was weird. Well, I won't mess with that right now. All right, what's the, what's the, what's the command for the, the potato dance? few of them. Alt F4. Oh, bodacious. Don't get me. Don't get me. Is it just slash dance? Oh, okay. I guess I thought it was a special dance. I feel like the... <laughs> I wish potato was singular and pototo was the plural. I agree with that. I think that's... I think we should all agree that that's fair. <laughs> I don't know why I have those. <laughs> Popoto? Could be that too. I want to do this raid! Potuto? Potato? There we go. That's it. That's the one. Yeah. I guess there's a party. Are people waiting in line? No? Just kind of spread out? Okay. Everyone's just hanging out. Yeah. I can't... Does this sound just accompany groups of players? Because I don't remember it sounding like this when you're just over here before. Really? That's the way it works? If enough players get in a spot, you just hear the sounds of conversation? That's so cool. Because I remember hearing that stuff in Yulemore, and then when I would go there and there's no one there, I'd just be like, well, that's interesting. It sounds kind of weird and quiet. I never once put my finger on the fact that that sound actually just accompanies crowds. Ah uh, yes, the most useful skill in the game. Like, it's not a global cooldown, is it? Wait, where is it? I'm getting distracted. It is. I don't even have that shit bound. Is there any boss fight where using Asuna is, like, important or a good use of your time? I always have it bound because it's one of my favorite sk skills in, like, Final Fantasy as a series. Okay, there are actually ones. I feel like I, I haven't... Either there's things I don't know that I can Asuna... Because they have that little mark on them if you can't, right? So, I don't know. You really need it on White Mage? Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think I've been doing fights that are hard enough to, to warrant it. Maybe. Or there hasn't been any debuff that lasts long enough that makes it worth it. Get out of here, cursor. Uh, the years spent listening to this exact song. There's a couple of uh, 14 classics that pub up here and there. Never play this game, but you'll be my raid buddy. All right, come on in. Here's your tambourine. <laughs> I 
Play Hildebrand? Did they finally add Hildebrand quests? I thought I saw those listed in the patch notes, but they weren't like explicitly marked Hildebrand. But it did seem to imply that was the case. Hmm. Because, yeah, there were, there were just some generic quests that didn't have a whole lot of information about them, but there was something about the description that seemed a little... No, it seemed a little odd. No Hildebrand for this ex expat? Hmm. I, I guess maybe my, uh... I could see my hopes getting the better of me. Looks almost as cool as Toontown rewritten. God, if only. Every, great, every game strives to achieve the greatness of Toontown. Got some goddamn trading cards in my inventory. I'm happy now we've danced. Now I'm gonna chill and watch you die like 30 times. This raid is awesome. Yeah, I was there were there were some trolley bits in the last raid. And I feel like I feel like this if this is like the last last Yoko Taro raid there's gonna be some trolley shit in it but like fun trolley shit trolley shit you can't be mad at is what I'm expecting so I'm looking forward to it <laughs> reject Final Fantasy return to Toontown <laughs> listen the world the world was in its happiest state when we were playing Toontown now that we're not everything's gone to shit the math is right there it's obvious it would take a stupid idiot to not see the patterns. Just to get the entrance to the bridge. Wait, what? Did I miss... Something? Entrance to the bridge. I, guess, I mean, I guess that's further in. The next raid is the most I've died to by my own mistakes in Duty Fighter content this whole expansion. Huh. Huh, what's up, Andrew? Hello and welcome. You watch anything recently? I've been watching, rewatching Thirty Rock because there's nothing really interesting out right now. Um, I'm gonna plug this. I watched uh, most of Waffles and Mochi on Netflix. It's fantastic. It's utterly delightful. It is a kids' show, so if you want some dark and gritty dramas, it's not gonna be there. But what is it? It is a it's a puppet show about nutrition and food made by uh, Michelle Obama's entity? I don't know. Michelle Obama is like one of the producers on it. And you know, big big deal when she was first lady was kind of addressing nutrition for, for kids. And the show basically has its characters uh, go talk with experts in a very sort of uh, Sesame Street style sort of way. We'll talk with adults, experts in their fields about various uh, food items, uh, about farming, just really basic stuff, uh, but it is a it is a fantastic show. Utterly, utterly delightful. There's great songs. They get like participation from some, from some great artists. So there's actually really, really great uh, animated sequences in like in the episodes too. So it is a it is a delightful variety show. Do you have any recommendations for animes once you get catch up on my Attack on Titan and My Hero? Uh, not really. No. No, I'm behind myself. I'm still... What am I working through right now? I was I was watching uh, Keep Your Hands Off. Oh my god. I feel like I have to look it up every time. It's extremely simple. Izoken. Yeah, that's it. That's that's fun. It's It kind of reads more like you get to see the... It's more of, I would say, like an episodic display of animation nerdery than it is like an ongoing narrative. But that's fine. Um, you know, one would think you like animation if you're watching anime. It just took me a while to sort of wrap my head around, I guess, its, it's uh, structure. Which happens a lot with anime, I find. I have to sort of abandon 
um, any expectation I have about pacing or storytelling <laughs> when it comes to new shows these days, which is actually pretty good. It, it's a it's a bit freeing. Um, yeah, uh, I am going to use the restroom real quick, and I got to get some some more water, so I'll be right back. See you guys in a moment. Sounds easy when you tell it. The only thing easier is when. All right, it's raid time. My flask is full. Let's raid. Gooey is for babies, I agree, Evan Almighty. I uh, I thought I was I was rad for preferring keyboard shortcuts until I was put in my place by somebody who mocked the presence of a numpad, and I was like, oh shit, you're right. <laughs> That's what numlock is for. Um, wait, n sort of. Like, doesn't? I just realized I may have assumed that because I thought it's not a keyboard like that. But if you hit numlock on keyboards without the pad, doesn't that change like? a grid of the letters into number pad? Or maybe that's a function trigger. I saw that on one keyboard and I assumed they were all like that if they didn't have a numpad, but maybe not. Uh, thank you for complimenting my hair. Yes, my hair's awesome today, thank you. I got a haircut. I got a haircut! I mean, I'm excited about it because it's just like post-COVID shit, man. I can finally go outside and get my damn hair cut. Didn't have to like wait or check the, z the alert level pandemic alert level can you use the claw with this yes um i will eventually but i'm currently trying to get it exchanged for a larger model that hit, fits my hand better so uh, i'm not using it now but i will in the future once i get it exchanged i'm gonna set it up and then try to play this game with it specifically and then have the little picture in picture my claw hand. Is DOS still running around somewhere in the guts of Windows 10? Uh, no. It was up until Windows XP, I believe, uh, which switched to the NT kernel. And then from there, actually, I'm not sure which Windows kernels, or which kernels Windows have, have relied upon, but I think it's just been an evolving build from that yeah someone explain dos to me um all right dos microsoft dos is a disk operating system which is to say it's an operating system like windows or mac os um it just ran on pcs before windows existed and bef well i guess mac os was kind of there uh oh ah oh, shit it happened it happened. Nice job. One second. Alright, sorry about that. It just looked like somebody had like a promo message. Somebody added me as a friend or something through Xbox. and You would think of every company that Microsoft's own applications would work with Windows notification settings. But they don't. Or at least it didn't seem like. I, I turned the banners off and yet there they were. So... Uh, Glitcher asks you, Laura, you often give, or you often talk about living your truth. Do you have any advice for people struggling to do the same? Um, I would say, do I talk about that often? Maybe. Uh, I've never, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that myself, um, but maybe I do in some form or another. That's a real generic question. Uh, it takes a lot of forms. I don't know. Uh... You'll have to be a bit more specific, yeah. What does living your truth mean? Ah, it's a, uh... I think I have some idea. Sounds more like a Bruce statement, perhaps. Not nearly high enough to answer that question. Oh, maybe that... Hey. Uh, if that was the intent, then I am... I have to admit, that is also true. I am not high enough to answer that yet. But I appreciate the spirit about where that's coming from. If that was the goal. Can you teach me the ancient ways of MS-DOS? I mean, sure. It's not hard. Uh, oh, Download DOSBox. Start reading. Hit F1 and go. Oh, I didn't explain DOS, did I? Well, I made analogies. Um, it's, a, it's an operating system. So, operating systems are pieces of software that give me, a user, a human being, the tools to access the hardware in the machine. Um, and oh shit, here come, here come the animes. Oh fuck, someone turned it on!
So it, uh, you say, hey, operating system, put this on the hard drive, and it's like, you got it. You say, hey, operating system, open that shit up and run Doom. It's like, can do, sir. But then the operating system says, wait a minute, it's all fucked up. And you say, what do you mean? I want to play Doom. The operating system's like, I don't know. Here's an error. I don't... I don't care. Yeah, so Command is still in Windows 10. Um, man prompt, bang. So this is the closest thing to the, to DOS, where I don't know what's. Uh, I don't know what I don't know if there's anything embarrassing there, but you can. I don't know if this works. There you go. Type help, and then you get a list of commands, and each one has a little a little guy. And then you can type help and uh, the name of the command, and it'll give you even more information about that. So, that's it. That's it. And then you would use this to be like, okay, go to my game folder, run this run this uh, program. <laughs> IP config slash redo. <laughs> that's a really complicated Alt F4. But I appreciate it. Anyway, that's uh, if you ever see people like hacking like mad and it's just like a, a line of text, that's what they're doing. It's cooler to operate a computer by command line than it is to use your big stupid windows and your blobby bullshits and your your calendars that work Pfft. anyway let's see this robot step on me yeah you can play zork that's true zork is kind of like running dos anything with a text parser Music's going away. Oh man. Really wish 14 was fully voice acted. Uh, I feel these moments are less action when no one is talking. Uh, yeah, you you do lose some punch. I agree. Because um, the voice acting actually is, and the cast is really good. It gives it a it gives it a good lift of excitement. Uh, I will say, like, having agreed with you, I will say there's also something kind of nostalgic about it, though. That is that is classic Final Fantasy. Uh, this is like a really nice soundtrack to sell all the emotion and then just thumbing through text as characters like pantomime on screen. Same shit. I'm not going to go so far as to say it's a stylistic choice, you know. No, I don't mean that. It just means, like... It is missing something, but somehow the, the lack of flavor is what's nostalgic. Oh yeah, the amount of text that they would have to read, yeah. And then, like, that's, that's also voiceover in every localization. So that multiplies it out. And there's a lot, there's a lot of words. Best advice to living a happy life. All right. I feel like that's a more approachable, less uh, the THC levels to, to take that one on are a bit lower. So thank you, Tree Flugel. Thank you for the sub. Um, try 
think I had to sum this up. Seek alignment. There we go. Boiled it down for you. Hey, red dude. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. Do we have a THC gauge? Oh my gosh. That's a really good idea. Hold on. Let me, uh... Let me write that down. Damn it. Damn, you always on top. Come on. Where are you? No! Uh, so I have, like, I discovered the ability to randomize something. To, like, hit a button and then have a random outcome of, like, plays one of five videos or, or does a random effect of some sort. So, uh, what I'd like to do is have a high meter where, like... There's like five or six different ratings and then I can just hit it and be like, how high are we right now? Um, and then, you know, just play along with whatever stupid result there is. Uh. Okay. I love it. Love it. Good, good workshop in here. Uh, that's, that's the sort of dumb idea that's good. That would take me like four hours to edit or something like that to figure out how to get everything. And it would be like a, <laughs> just like a 30 second joke. <laughs> Whatever, it's worth it. This is what financial independence has bought me. From not, not enough to very woe. So something like that. I was thinking about like, like, absolutely zoinked or something like that. Just as it goes up, it just, it's more and more gib, like absolute gibberish. But then I get to I get to like yell something into the microphone that's just really fun to say. Like beef brain, man. I've been thinking about beef brain a lot. I gotta work beef brain into more things. I gotta finish uh, Hypnospace Outlaw too. I gotta solve the uh, the riddle of the beef brain. I'm on cloud nine out of ten. That's pretty good. Totally slogged. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Beef Brain is a... Oh, Jesus. Okay, so there's... There's a game called Hypnospace Outlaw that takes place in the dream version of the 90s internet. I'm not lying. That, that's literally true. Uh, you're... And you're, uh... You're, uh... You're an, you're an admin. You're a... You're a mod, basically. And you gotta go around the internet and find people breaking the fucking rules and ban that shit. And then you get paid, like, digital currency for banning people, but... They all turn out to be like internet mysteries where you have to like cyber stalk people and, and hack things and download programs. It's it's fantastic. It is a it is a fever dream of the 90s internet. Um, but and there's weird songs, yeah, a lot of MIDI. There's a there's a Winamp media player with a horrific skin. It's uh it's so good. So I gotta get back to it. Anyway. Actually, yeah, it's on Game Pass, so everyone should check it out if you have Game Pass. I'm not 100% sure about using a controller for that. It, it's, it is a very mouse game, but I'm sure it's playable. And yeah, kick-ass soundtrack, too. Man. Incredible music. Oh, it's Game Pass PC? Oh. Oh. Well, go for it, then. I, I guess I, I bought it a long time ago, but... Game Pass PC, yes. two comforting arms that wrap around you. One says Game Pass, the other one says PC. She's like, yes, it's okay. Uh, they mostly ditched their, like, Windows app packaging, too. It's just all in normal folders now. Pretty cool. If only Game Pass PC had the games that Xbox Game Pass had. Yeah, it's it's not one to one, but I'm kind of okay with that. Yes, mm. that's the sound of content, baby. Hoo yeah. I think it's just is it that? It's oh my gosh. Okay. Lollipop Chainsaw on Game Pass when? Oh man. The the soundtrack of that game is too good for it to be on Game Pass, I think.
I think I have a, uh, I still have a copy of it on 360, because, yeah, that's a really special game. It's kind of a, it's a partial bummer, because mechanically, I have to admit, it does get a little button mashy by the end of it. Like, you just, you have your combo, and you do your combo. So, but, you know, that soundtrack was so great. I thought a lot of the, like, I thought there was a lot of really good sort of campy progressivism in it. Uh, I really liked the, uh, I thought the character design was great. It, it kind of reminded me of the first, kind of the first take, the film, uh, Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, all right. All right, it's queuing time. Oh god, I don't remember any of the buttons. This is so terrible. I should have practiced. Let's see here. Cure. I remember that. I remember that. I'm ooh. I don't remember that. What did I put? Okay. I'm, okay. I did move that. I yeah. I'm trying to help you keep people alive. <laughs> yeah. I'll try my best. Um it'll come back to me slowly. But I'm I'm definitely not really going to be using all my tools right away. It's going to take me a while to remember rotations and where everything is. I guess I have time. I can just sort of... Hit buttons. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Ready to spam res? We're supposed to die a lot, right? It's gonna be fun. Somebody's going to tro let troll us. Love being a healer. It's one of the most stressful things I do to myself with a little payoff for thanks from people. I feel like I get more commendations than most other people. I would say in a given, and that's, I mean, that's, to me, that's my payment or acknowledgement at least, but. Confession do. Oh, that's the one that buffs. Uh, that's the one that buffs AOE heals. I gotta remember. Cure potency of 200. Eesh. I see it like I. These are here, and I try to remember to use them, but I haven't ever done a, a fight where I, like I'm forced to, or maybe I have, and I just failed it because I wasn't using them. 14 seems like such a tremendously cool game, but I still find myself being turned off by that quick bar combat. I'd love it if it were more Guild Wars 2-esque in terms of combat. I understand. It's, uh... It does seem really antiquated. I played it on controller a fair bit, and it is just... It is still, you know, swapping around hot bars of, of um, actions. I think there's just a, a certain... I don't know, I, I, I go back and forth sometimes mentally about the, the gameplay design of having multiple abilities, like over over 10, over 20. I think this game is like right on the edge of giving you a lot of complicated decisions about what to spend your resources and time doing in, in combat, but not being over complicated. There, it's sort of like a inverted funnel of skills. Like there's a few that are very, very important. And if you can use those, then you can do most of the stuff. And then as it gets harder, you have to squeeze and get efficiency out more and more. Oh, you're playing on PS4? Zenobia? I, uh... I've only used controller on the PC version of 14. So I'm not sure if the 14 version is different. I did really like what they did with the pad. Uh, the touchpad, that was really cool. But then again, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I was just very blunt in how I set up the con controller configuration. Perhaps there are ways to make it a lot more uh, natural. But it was, it did just kind of feel like I was still sorting through hot bars and hitting buttons. time 11 minutes it's nice we get to chill out 
How much more THC do you think you would need to bust out the VR headset and get lost in Elite? Oh, Unfortunately, the more THC in my bloodstream, the less I want to bust out a VR headset because I'm going to spend... I'm going to spend a good portion of the vibes just plugging everything in and getting annoyed with it. I don't know. I, maybe that's me being a little, uh, a little poo-poo-y. It's been fine the last couple of times I've plugged it in. It's kind of jumped up right away. Huh. It's the same other than placement of the D-pad on the controller itself. Oh, okay. Stupid thing is they default some extremely good controller features or extremely good features of controller off. Oh, interesting. Oh, the duty finders had some issues today. You might want to look in the party finder for people running this. Oh, and it said average wait time is 11 minutes, but yeah, I guess I can look. So, but if I'm with a group. I guess I can just jump in with any of these. Oh, those are all locked. So wait a minute. You can join with your group? Oh, okay. I'm worried I'm gonna hit a button wrong. <laughs> Am I bringing everyone with me? Are they choosing... Do they choose what group they go into? Or am I choosing for them? I don't know if I need to, uh... Consider comp. You can find a party finder with two healers and a DPS slot. Okay. Okay. I think I understand. Yeah, I put my playlist here, hoping that I can, like, heal people better. Okay. <laughs> oh, my stupid name. Go back and play Final Fantasy XI online. I, gosh, I, I did pick that up. I think it was in like 2006, and I still really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, just that that game, man. That game really had a feeling about it. Almost, it it really. Met, I'm gonna say this at the risk of sounding like a games journalist, but there was there was a Souls feeling about that game. You moved slow, environments were big, encounters felt scary, um, and progress was, was glacial. best healer gameplay is when you're only looking at your hot bars and hot bars and buttons not looking at the real gameplay i want to see the sparklies though i do i want to see the sparklies that's why I'm, I'm trying to like like if i have a low camera angle the other problem is um cast bars like i think my focus my focus is like right here so if i focus somebody then yeah i can only look i only have to look from here to here and then occasionally over here i don't know i'm not sure if i'm ever going to end up using this but I wanted to have just a reminder of my important cooldowns here. Um, I think, a, yeah, like a size and lucid dreaming and stuff like that. So, they get in the way for sure they do. Especially when it comes to, like, visible... Um, like, visible tells for attacks. 
of uh, like raising my right arm or left arm. If there's if it's just a non-stop cacophony of anime sparkles, that stuff gets rough. Also, that reminds me, I was annoyed that I didn't see uh, Una's name. I was supposed to see that name most of all. I'm trying to remember where those options are. Oh. I'm not doing anything else right now. System config. No, it's the other one. Character config, I think. Yes. You don't really need your, per your own parameter bars near the center, but the target's cast bar and status effects, as well as your own status effects, are very important, so they should be kept somewhere between your character and hot bars, so you glance at them often. Yeah, I guess for me, it's, um, it's just trying to see if I'm low health or low mana. Um, if there were another way to get that information aside from looking at the bar, that'd be nice. the heck are the options to display nameplates because you can choose like you can choose which npcs you see oh it's right there it was just down there there it is all right what's this all about here oh maybe i was trying was i trying to be discreet about my friends names why I did that. Whatever, man. There's so many so many options in this game. Oh, there's so many. Every time I go in there, I'm like, I'm gonna customize the shit out of this game. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna tweak every setting. I'm gonna move every bar. I'm gonna twist all the knobs. And then I get in there for like a minute. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to adjust the opacity of my crosshair. <laughs> Just so many words. Eyes glaze over. Hey, what's up, Jack Wild? I'm having a pretty nice evening, yeah. Having a pretty nice evening indeed. Uh, turn off party and alliance member titles and set their names to surname abbreviated. It'll massively reduce the clutter from nameplates and raids. I will do that. I'll do that. I like it. I'm thinking about it and I like it. I approve of it. Thank you. Love that they did a near crossover. It's pretty neat. I mean, at this point, they've they've almost done like a greatest hits of cult classics in the space because they did near and then they did a Final Fantasy Tactics crossover and then a Final Fantasy 12 crossover. Uh, I guess. How, how, like, official... They've done some other promotional stuff, though. It was, like, a Monster Hunter thing and a Yokai Watch thing. I still need to do a Witcher crossover. Yeah, that's true. There was 13? I don't remember that. Oh. Samurai Spartan. Hey. Hello. I am doing amazing. I'm doing really great. I feel good. I feel really good. I finally laid off the coffee for, like, a week. And I'm starting to feel quite a bit better. It's annoying because I really like coffee still, so. But I should listen to my body. It's cool that this raid ends around the time when a new Nier game is coming out. Yeah, that's a fun little, fun little uh, tie-in. I wonder how, wonder how planned that was. If it was just like a, hey, check that out. 
Like if you just move a week, then look at that. Isn't that neat? It's always fun to think about that stuff. I'm not sure if jumping into this party finder was actually faster than waiting for the duty finder. Yeah, I mean we're close at this point, right? We're almost we're almost full. Yeah. Wait, wait, does that mean we only need oh wait, one, two, three. Oh, we need seven, yeah. I mean people were people were filing in. Oh, why have you given up on coffee? It was it was shredding my guts. Tearing my guts out. So I had to my my going theory is take a break, but uh, I have a I have an appointment to talk to a gastroenterologist about it. So hopefully, hopefully he just like tells me to stretch and then it's fine. Hey, Glavin, Chris, hello and welcome. I struggle with reducing caffeine. It's the choice between doing what's best for my body and what I want to do and enjoy. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I should, should throw around unsolicited advice. J. Bevy, thank you for the sub. I watched the Army of the Dead trailer today. No. But yeah, Zack Snyder's back on back in the game. Okay, again, again. Uh, I should check that out. I do like I do like his work. <laughs> I remember Angry Joe being really upset about it back in the day. Upset about what? Oh, Final Fin oh, fourteen one point oh. Uh hey what's up, Tomcat? Hey, <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. I'm asking. I'm swerving around my guys. Exactly. should ask about an upper and lower scope too when you go to a gastroenterologist. They're not that bad and it's good to know if there's anything going on in there. Rather than later, they found two in mine and I'm only 28. They found two what? Alright, who, who else was in there with We got a doctor in chat. Yeah, was oh, that is that you, bearded? It was a mistake in the first place. People are making party finders to make sure they can run blind. There were like six parties when we were looking. I don't understand. Oh, so everyone joining that way will be split between all the listed parties? I'll just hope that this works. Or is there another party finder group that we should have joined? No THC Tuesday today. A bit. A bit. I'm not going ham on it because this isn't really a THC game, but I'm still I'm still in the in the game a bit. I'm still Proof in the doof. I'm doing it in a very clinical way, though. There was like a pill. There's a THC pill. Just doot. It's only Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to say. It's only Tuesday. This game's still fun. I stopped playing last year. Well, we're about to find out. I am in the, uh, I am in the finder. Average wait time, 26 minutes. Whew. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Maybe, hold on. 
Maybe I'll, I'll rifle through the party finders and see if there's a... Uh... See if there's one that, like, if there's just, like, a perfect-sized hole for us. Two healers and a deep, yes. Two heals and a deep! I mean, there's that. That's the one I just left, right? Yeah, we're queuing. 26 minutes while queuing as a healer? My gosh. <laughs> Two healers. Birda Birda. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Only suggested it because the duty finder has gotten stuck multiple times today and sits with only the people in your party sometimes. Um, yeah. I mean, it kind of seems like that's what's happening right now. Does it help to unqueue and queue again? Oh. Why don't I start leaving in queue and rejoining? See if the wait time is short with only one healer. Oh, okay. What do you mean by leaving and oh rejoining the queue? One. Bleh. Right. Twenty-four minutes. Uh, Lupinator, thanks for the prime. And Slenders, thank you very much for the sub. You just been to the party? I thought that's what I was told to do. I'll try leaving Q and rejoining. My bad. I thought you meant left to leave the party. I mean, that's a that's an even more intense... Uh... That's an even more intense test, isn't it? Oh, two polyps, and one was precancerous. Oh, shit. No, I'm no doctor. I just like to encourage people to make sure uh, things are okay. They said to wait, but if I waited, who knows what could have happened with that one polyp. Sorry for the late reply. I'm at work. Just like to listen. I hear you. Well, no, I very much appreciate you uh, you sharing your experience. Um, yes, I'll have a talk about it. I think it's at the point where it's like, it hit a certain level, a certain sensation. But it's like, okay, that, that should be talked about. That should be looked into. Uh... Let's see if the double healing... Wait, let's see if it's the double... Oh, I see what you mean. You were going to change jobs. My bad. Nope, same deal. Yeah. If they scope in and find a polyp, you're on that colonoscopy every two years train. That's something to look forward to. Alright, well, in that case... Ooh! Ding, 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 ding! Okay, now I gotta look at my skills again. Could go unlock that new trial while you wait. Oh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Estimated wait time was a lie. I mean, when... When, when is it ever not? Oh yeah, rescue. Oh no. Okay. I'm sp I was supposed to follow somebody, right? Dreyfus, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna try to not, uh, die. Oh damn. Some hot animes are gonna punch each other here. This will be easy. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna first try this. This is the no nap run right here. Not taking a rest, no sir. Schwam. Clicking back and forth between English and Japanese.
Okay. Cool. What's gonna be like hacking? Awesome. Oh man, is it gonna have like 8 bit? Sing cool, awesome 8 bit mu music? Ugh! Oh. I was gonna go down already. Okay, there it is. Ah, oh, man. This guy does it, and then the other guy does it? Okay. Oh, and then that guy's yelling. Okay. gonna block something lunge oh you have to be in front of them got it well that murdered a lot of people I gotta, I gotta revive off, but I shouldn't have moved. I'm just antsy. <laughs> no heal charts. I'm not that pro, fortunately. Honestly, I'm just spending a lot of time trying to remember what I've been up to. Oh shit, there's three now. Okay. Fossil impact's in the middle, right? Oh, it's not. Okay, how did that not hit me? Okay. Are there any other healers that need to come up? Oh! Medica too. There you are. Oh shoot, it's gonna be a long run. If it is the I don't think I can make it to that one in time. Okay, there's other ones? Alright. Uh, let's see.
Oh right, I forgot about my uh my flower. How embarrassing. There we go. <laughs> Oh wait, no! Colossal Pack's not in the middle! Frick. I don't know why I keep thinking that. I keep thinking, like, uh, since he's leaning back like that, that'll punch the center? Oh. I got got! I got got! Okay. Ah, uh, I wasn't expecting that. There's another round after that. That's clever. Huzzah! That was pretty intense. A hairpin. Uh. I don't know. My helmet. My stuff's already better than that. Or item level wise, it is. Or as good. Who? That was intense. That was cool, though. I feel like that's probably a warm-up. Or 
or that it's like, uh, those are just foundational mechanics for whatever's gonna happen next. I'm starting to remember how to play White Mage. It's coming back, it's coming back. The buttons, the buttons. I remembered about my Lily halfway through that. Ah, alright. We don't hit the one that's shielded. doing oh come on uh, all right I'm not using thin, thin air uh oh I was thinking a little bit late. I was like, wait a minute. Nobody's there. Why is that? What are you doing? Is it where their skulls are pointed? that this is not dangerous. What? I guess each one has like a pattern that it attacks in. Uh, and they trade. Yep. Everyone's up. Damn. wise to do that before I had no idea if I was going to die. Okay, so one's red and one's blue. Alright. Red one is attack, blue one is shield. This is usually how it goes. Oh, shit. I really used my cooldown at the very wrong moment. Oh, he's already up. Okay. Fuck. I did not heal properly. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna live through that. Nope. 14 is extremely good at telling you what an attack is going to do. 
Where does it do that? I, I've never been able to, like, observe that properly. But I'm also not paying super great attention to the, the names of the, uh, like, the bosses themselves. Well, that's the thing. You, it's more than that. Because it might be in the name of the move. It might be in, like, an audio tell. It might be uh, in an animation. It actually telegraphs information in a variety of ways that I would argue is not that clear. But I will attempt to look at their bodies and see what you're talking about. To me, that was always the, uh... That was always the point, is that it's kind of a mystery. So they're like, they're attacking both sides of the arena. I mean, they're, I guess that means they're attacking that side. Let's hope that would... Oh, I got hit by something else. Helpful Johnny, thank you for the sub. I guess it's just super easy to get so head down and trying to heal or make sure nobody else is dying. Does that just mean the outside? I don't know what that means. Then they swap, so now it's inside. So I guess. I mean, I guess I accept dying on that one, but, uh... Let me break three when you can heal. Okay. I will do that. I will do that. Yes. Good, good move. I still can't move. Alright. Watch out for that stuff. I'm trying to keep an eye on many things. Let's see if I can actually like trace everything. It's it is a perceptive challenge. There's a lot going on. I guess it's maybe I um am over focusing on trying to like do abilities and stuff. And remember everything.
Okay, I'm not gonna get stuck in there this time. Oh, they're not going in that pattern. you like currently simply you don't play enough to have just muscle memory of all the movement and healing for you you get way more comfortable with the job you'll know when you have cooldowns to pop and can and what's in front of you or can look at what's in front of you instead of your hot bars yeah i agree i agree it's a lot to jump back into but as soon as i know what to look for so okay thank you guys for kind of cluing me into more of the the character animations I'll attempt to pay more attention to that, too. Focus on mechanics over your abilities. You can only heal if you survive. Yeah, I agree. I should. I really should. Ugh. It's more like, a. Uh, it wasn't even, like, my abilities. It was remembering. <laughs> remembering my abilities. Hey, Zeron. There's still a few I'm not using. Yeah, I'm not using, uh, thin air to, to res. But, whatever. That's more gated by cast time. Oh, I'm just going for it. Alright. Not today, 2P. Oh. These are just ads, huh? And a dragon. Oh, shit! What? It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like this. <laughs> We're all gonna run in a big fat circle. That's what it's gonna be like, huh? God damn it. Uh. Robots, fellas. What ho? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit. Holy spam. Is it holy spam time? It is holy spam time. I was not properly holy holy spamming, and I apologize for that. What's the other one? Presence of mind? Yeah. I've always wondered how, uh, as, as a non-white mage, how percussive is that sound effect? I feel like holy, the holy firework banging over and over again has got to be 
Rather pronounced. I always wonder if it annoys people. A true white mage knows holy spam is the way. Yeah, only hitting one, <laughs> one enemy. It's done. It's done. What? Red girl. It's not that bad. Okay. Hopefully it's the it's the sound of things dying. I like Ikaruga? I do. Oh, okay. Is this a a polarity bullet hell? Um Near had bits of that. Basically and it's it's erasable and non erasable bullets. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Laser's gonna go through like colors. Okay. Not sure quite what the AoEs are all about yet. White shock, which I guess means I'm at a target. Zing! Wait, where'd it go? Oh, I guess it was only there. I'm still not sure what that's about. I'm sorry, targets for the world. Ow! I see. Okay. How many rounds are we doing? I like how they, in the room before, they like trained you to do circular dodges of uh, AoE markers. Pretty good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Jesus! I'm getting trolled by Taro! Oh, come on. Come on, you. Hey. Oh, boy. All right. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Okay. How can you tell what color it's gonna- Oh, it's- now it's switching to black, so I wanna be... that. Oh wait, it's Q&E, okay. Okay. Okay, I think I'm figuring it out. 
<laughs> Dang it, is it over? Oh no, I, I just figured it out. Oh yeah. All right, well, next time. If I know my near automata, I'm going to be doing that for the next three hours. That was cool. That was really cool. I even had the music and everything. Ah! I thought they might do something like that. They've been getting really, uh... They've been doing some cool stuff within the game's, like, engine and toolset. Whoa. Uh, what the frick? Why are they all... Why are we moving to the right? Do we not want to do, move to the right, or do we want to move to the right? Or all the people that are locked are going to move to the right? Ah, uh, okay. You don't want to end up in a death zone. Got it. I wasn't paying attention. I was resurrecting. Ooh. Uh. Do I not want to be in a black zone when I black explode? Or do I want to be in a black zone when I black explode? Okay, I didn't die. Why are we all moving this way? Oh. Because of the chains, I guess. Hey, what's up, Chota? Chota boy? Buh. My, my oh. attentions are a bit split at the moment. Oh. Oh. Oh, shucks. All right. Uh. Yeah. Oh, crap. Wait. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yes, yes. Ah! I did the... Uh. Um. Um. Oh. Everyone's coming here. Why? Oh, I didn't make it. Jeez. Okay. Those are some intense logic puzzles. Oh, there's two now? Come on. Isn't that a bit much? Should I should I limit break? Do you think? Maybe we can get get this on the track again. Oh, fuck. Oh, whew, I got very lucky there. Wait, which way is it rotating? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I... Should I limit break? Maybe I should. That's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't have... Ah, oh, shit.
yeah. Here we go. Time for some dang lasers. Uh, over here. Yeah, this should be the safe spot, right? Oh, wait, no. Oh, shit! Ugh, not again. Uh, made it. Alright. Seems like it. Beating, beating up the big lady, the red girl. Oh wow! Oh no! What the heck? Oh, that's crazy. Oops! Oops! Ah, what? Funky one. Cool, cool, cool. This music makes it so intense. Neon Gygus, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Buska, thank you for the resub. What's up, Capital G Gamers? Recovering from a 13-hour solo drive from Salt Lake to San Diego. Why don't you click those buttons, baby? And I continue to demand that you change your character's name. Well, you can uh, you can file the petition like you do every other month, and I'll continue to ignore it. We can go on having a great time. Whew. Why do JRPGs have such good music? I'm, I often theorize it's because it's, it's the only thing that's there. It's like the music to set the mood and then written dialogue. So the music has to do a lot of lifting. Oh my gosh. When it comes to the, uh, the emotion of a scene, especially if you're restricted on like, you actually can't fit dialogue in. There's just actually not enough storage size for all the text. I don't know what this is, but... Oh, I guess I see it now. Multiple robots. Now this is just... This is getting ridiculous. Nobody in the world's built more than one robot. Kind of shades of other uh, other patterns in this dungeon. Well, it's getting more complicated. Alright, now, now it's feeling near. Oh. If I just jump... What? Gotta be a little more, uh more graceful with my mouse movements with the party list that they're like it is. 
it helps. I don't know, though. Sometimes raids, it's not so much about healing as it is... You res people and you, like, give them a pat on the back. Sometimes there's, like, a... I guess there is just, like, a, an AoE that hits the entire room, just to keep you honest. But it really does feel like raid fights are less about keeping an eye on everyone's health. You're more like... You're the, you're the whiteout, I guess. Color... Color relationship intended. You're just there when people make mistakes. I really want to get into a game like this. What RPG would you recommend for someone new? Um, if you mean like this, you may mean like an MMO. That's just easy mode healing. Yeah, I guess you're right. I haven't had to get through like intense DPS waves. Hard content, there's way more unavoidable damage out. Okay. So then it's... I think we talked about this before. At that point, it's like... Uh, it's the trade-off of... Um, I saw the face. It's creepy. She creepy. Seems about right. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure it's good. I'm trying. How hard could it be? Nice big stone lady. how fast that health bar is going down. Which way it turns. Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, okay. way to do that.
Oh, okay, got it. Oh, that's neat. Man, that's that's mean. <laughs> that's one of those things where you just get pounded by it because you happened to walk into its uh its path. And it just utterly annihilates you, and you're like, how did the game know exactly what to do to destroy my soul? It just knew. Somebody told it. Somebody tattled. Oh jeez. me down. Yeah, that life bar is kind of an eyesore during the cutscenes too. Now for the real shit? Yeah. The fight's officially starting now. And I'm ready. That pill I took is starting to kick in. THC. All legal and... All legal and healthy. Oh shit. Oh no. You don't want to be there. Oh, okay. Sometimes be there good, sometimes be there bad. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. The raid boss throws buildings at you. Great. Very cool. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Understood. Okay, 
Okay, all right. That's neat. Yeah, they're going to... Huh? Oh! All right. I see. It's not going to move for a minute. All right. Creepy train has arrived. What are we doing here? What are we doing with these? Oh. I. to get to this part of the rotation again. Neat. Why is this floating anime goddess summoning trains? That is an extremely fair question. I have to admit, I don't think I'm quite prepared to answer. We're just burning the life bar at this point. That's cool.
Yay. Hello. Michael. Did I get your name right? Hello and welcome. Do I ever do media shares? I used to. Like, a long time ago. It's been a long time. Um, I've been thinking about doing it again. It was actually kind of nice. I learned, uh, I learned about a lot of new, very cool stuff that way. Ooh. Robo Goddess is the ego of the machine network. That's why she moves trains and shit, probably. Got it. I saw that 2B card, though. I need that. I'm gonna need this. Ooh, a 94. Ah. Oh. Wait, are these... Do these count as items you get from the raid, or is it just gear? Man, those stats. Just gear? Okay. Everything but the gear is free rule. Got it. Thank you. Well then. Huh. Yay! Might as well. Give it to me. Give it all. I deserve it all! <laughs> what did I get? Oh, was it the, uh... <laughs> I guess it was the gear. Yes. Okay. I don't know if that's better or not. I mean, it's better stats, but... In terms, in terms of looks... Hmm. It accentuates my sassy pose. Which is a... Is a, is a plus. Oh, I need to commend. Forgot. Oh, wait. You can just glamour the old stuff back anyways. That's true. I do kind of like, uh... I don't know, I kind of look, look... I like looking like a fool. So that's how I'd say it. That was intense. That was a lot of mechanics and lasers and orbs and trains and plot developments. You're such a handsome character. Well, thank you. I've been thinking about getting him a new hairstyle, though. He's got Noctis hair right now. He used to have a little pompadour. I might go back to the pomp. I don't love B2's dress slash outfit. I have one of those. <laughs> Is that a smash invite? <laughs> Sakurai's character from Final Fantasy XIV has made it to Smash Brothers. That's some next level shit. Has anyone ever put their MMO character in another game? I bet there's tons of Mugen builds like that, but... The last character added to Smash Ultimate should be Sakurai's OP. I... or... Uh, OC, excuse me. It should be OP. And it should just be like... A, a somewhat crude pencil sketch of like a dude with like three guns. Just whatever random doodles in Sakurai's notebook about the coolest person in the world. That's, that's the last character. Yeah, Sakurai's Sonic OC, exactly. It should just be him. I could see that. Like, rendered an engine, or should it be like Sakurai, but like Mortal Kombat 3 era motion capture? Should be him in 4K. Yeah, performance captured. And he has a sword and magic abilities. He can cast spells. Ooh. It's 
very sad. Sakurai's the Shang Tsung of Smash. You can morph into all the other characters. That seems fair. He's earned it. Am I doing the main story quest or is RE6 happening soon? No, I think RE6. I'm going to wrap up this quest line and then I'm going to take a break, I think. Eat some food. And then I'll be back later tonight with uh, Bruce for Resident Evil 6. We might? Oh, there's a lot of Resident Evil to play. A lot of learning. Yay! Yay! A lot of cool dudes. A lot of cool dudes to be around. That's what I like. Did I get first in Pac-Man 99? I did. I want to get to hear the sweet new song in the dungeon then. Well, not yet, but maybe tomorrow? I mean, this game still fits for tomorrow. You guys playing RE6 has inspired me to work my way through the franchise. It's come a long way. It's certainly, it's like one of the, it's one of the longest running franchises. It's still really active and still trying to hit mm, AAA production values. Robots didn't make it. It's rough. It's rough stuff. Uh, any update about an upcoming 24-hour stream? Yes. Now's a good time to talk about that. Uh, this Saturday, I will be doing the Doom Doom Subathon. So, I'm going to start at 10 a.m. Pacific. That's the time that I'm aware of right now. Start having a... On Saturday. Going to have a interview with Hugo Martin to kind of start things. I have, I have some things I want to ask him. Um, and then I'll just start playing Doom 2016, going through all the lore, getting all the upgrades, using all the guns, killing killing demons real good, um, on into Doom Eternal, and then DLC 1 and 2. The idea being it's just going to be like a full playthrough of, of everything now that the, sort of the storyline has concluded. I've been trying to think about, I don't know if I want to play through the whole thing without a HUD. I'm debating. I'm debating doing that. Doing nightmare for all of them? I don't know. I don't know what would. I don't know what would fit the stream better. Um, Headless would be wild. Most people don't even notice it, though. I don't think. Uh, I did get. Oh, Roroni, I did get your package. It's just down here. I actually wanted to wait for you to be here to open it, so I can do that now. I had to play Doom Three in VR. I tried it, and it wasn't great. Um, I mean, the mod the mod is actually as good as it can be. There's just some things about it that are a little rough. And I was just having general trouble with my headset that night. If I... I think I got some things figured out, so I might try it again. But I was just having a rough time. I was having this weird, like, visual glitch, too, where certain textures would get, like, bubbly and flickery. It was really annoying. And it, it really didn't... Didn't help. Seen people play through the Souls games HUDless. Trust me, it's noticeable. Okay. Then maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I'll do that just to spice it up a little bit. Um, I'll, I'm going to die a few times. So. Let's see your, ah. It's the one true Doom King. Oh, thank you. This is very cool. It's a, a Doom hat. It's got a little Doom guy face on it. So now I can be a Doom guy. Thank you. That actually feels like a really nice hat. Oh, it's signed by John Romero. Cool. Awesome. That's very neat. Thank you very much. How did you get him to sign that? Wait, you, you messaged me about that, I think, right? That hat looks fucking rugged. That's a nice hat. A lot of, a lot of zombies got shotgun to that hat. That was a very good time to bring that up. Well, thank you very much for the incredible gift. That's extremely, extremely generous of you. And very thoughtful. That'll go nicely with the cum shirt. Yeah. I'll wear that for the interview.
He was selling it online. Oh, John Romero was? Man. Contributing to the Romero estate, no less. Well, that's very kind. Thank you very much, Baroni. I'll, uh, when I have Hugo Martin cornered and in a conversation, I'll make sure to ambush him with a hat and force him to tell me that it's a great hat and the best hat he's ever seen. And then I'll record it, and then I'll play that clip every day. Should have your Doom Buddy too? Oh, yeah. My Doom Buddy's not in the house at the moment, unfortunately. My Doom Buddy's outside, cheering up the world. That's what Doom Buddy would want. Played after every MediaTek vid. Played in between, yeah. So if Nier is canon in Final Fantasy, then that means Earth is canon too. Hmm. Are any Final Fantasy games pronoun pronouncedly on Earth? Like in our specific solar system. Spirits Within? Yeah, that one was on Earth. I guess it was the Earth and the Moon, yeah. first movie. <laughs> there you go. Then actual Earth is taken in Final Fan in the Final Fantasy multiverse. Uh, the Earth is spoken for. King Louis, thank you very much for the, the sub. That's true. Seven does show our solar system when Sephiroth blows it. Wait, is it ours or are they just planets? I don't know if it's our solar system. Well, that reminds me, I got laundry to do, too. Oh, it's our solar system? Okay, it shows, it shows Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars. Oh, okay. the solar system to laundry connection i was just thinking like i have to i'm getting hungry so i'm gonna get a snack and yeah i've got laundry that's just sitting in there gotta put it up so it can air out what if it gets wrinkled people on twitch are gonna laugh at me because it matters cool filter thank you well here i'll, I'll cool it up even more because i'm about to step away from the stream for a bit um, yeah, I'll be gone. For, I'll be gone for about an hour. I think that's what you have to look forward to here. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna have a snack. Uh, I'm going to. What if it gets the stale water smell? Well, I gotta go. I gotta go do my laundry. So, uh, man, that raid was sick though. That was cool as hell. I gotta click on the rest of that text. And then yeah, I'll probably do the story quest off stream sometime. Uh, but I'll be back. I'll be back in about an hour. So if y'all wanna hang around, you can. I'll be showing raid clips and stuff. Uh, but there, there's, there's this, I, uh, I invite you to blast some jerky in the meantime, get up and stretch a bit. Uh, what's next? Resident Evil 6 with Bruce Green. Bruce Green. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be flips. It's going to be screaming. It's going to be dude saying, hell yeah. I'm going to say hell yeah a lot. All right. I'll see you then in about an hour. Advantage.